I mean, you know, I've been I've been where I am now since 2015, 2016. Um, so I've been doing this for a while and I'm basically teaching the same or have been teaching the same courses every year um, for the most part. I mean, uh, sometimes another course gets added or whatever, or another course goes away. Or whatever. But um, the teaching part of my life hasn't really changed that much. The, during the pandemic for like a year and a half or whatever, you know, we were online. Um, and so that was different and I had to adjust some things there, but, uh, but the actual, the actual like content of the courses and everything has stayed the same. And, and the, the transition to, for me was relatively easy because a lot of my courses are about like digital media and they were already sort of using various digital platforms. And so, um, moving to online only, uh, like I, it, I didn't actually have to introduce any new tools. Um, we just didn't meet in person anymore, you know? Um, Cause we, you know, I, I already had been using like, uh, you know, discussion boards and Google drive and, you know, all these different sort of online tools already. Um, but yeah, so, so um, the teaching though, like, um, I would say the thing that, that that has changed a lot is I um, think more about my students than I used to. <laughs> like in terms of like, are they doing okay? Mm -hmm. um, and some of that is from like messaging from my university, like, or my, my department, my school. Um, Cause they, they would, when we were in the pandemic last year at least so or you know i guess the whatever it was the the um i guess spring of 2020 um is when when we were the first our first quarter that we were all fully online and um some of the uh basically communication from like the dean's office and everything and also from the president of the university and all that stuff was like basically like try to be considerate, you know, and um, allow for um, like um, some, some sort of give, <laughs> you know, cause like not everyone's suddenly yeah. there's a whole bunch of people who are basically in distress or are in, un, have like new constraints basically. And so um, they might not be able to meet particular deadlines strictly and so just, just, you know, just to take that into consideration and be a little bit more lenient and everything. And then, and then actually we had, we had a suggestion, um, my school, I don't, I don't know if this is true of the whole UW system or anything like that, but my school, um, we got an email from the Dean, but that basically said like, um, you can, if you want to basically like cancel finals or cancel final papers or final projects and everything and just extrapolate um grades from already submitted work during the quarter you know so it's basically like dropping the last assignment um in your class or or dropping the final exam if you have final exams i don't have finals in my, in my classes and everything and that was surprising to me but um but i think you know we're going to get into this about like what i've been doing for the last couple of years for my students and everything but um i it wasn't it wasn't solely me, you know, I had a lot of support, I think, from my university to to do the types of support that I was doing, um, sort of. I mean, I say that, I say that uh, my university I, has been pretty lenient to students, I think, but at the same time, I also think that they haven't been very straightforward to students or transparent mm -hmm. to students. And so that's part of why I started like emailing them pretty regularly and all that. Um, but in terms of the teaching, the pedagogy and everything, um, that basically has been the same, you know. Um, 